Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. So I created this full face of makeup using affordable drugstore makeup products that I love. And we'll just jump right into the tutorial. It's just a neutral, everyday makeup look with a very glossy lip. So we'll just jump right into the tutorial. And here is a close up of the makeup, glossy lip, neutral, everyday eye look. So for primer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This stuff is so good. It's silicone free. It does it all. Um, super affordable. It just comes out in this clear consistency. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. It's a really good affordable primer by Wet n Wild. It makes my skin so smooth and perfect. Like the perfect base for applying foundation on top of. Next, I'm going to go with my super affordable foundation. This is the Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Light Beige. I love this foundation. I've used it for so many years. There was a time when it did break me out and I just like could not figure out how to stop breaking out with it. But, but I've been using it again and it's amazing. It's like this lightweight matte formula, full coverage. Comes in so many shades and... I don't know, it really has not been breaking me out that much lately. Thank goodness. I feel like my shades always match so better with Maybelline foundation. I don't know why, but I find it so easy to find my shade. Okay, so I accidentally threw out my drugstore concealer. It was the e.l.f. camo because I wasn't sure how old it was. And all I have are high-end. So it honestly defeats the purpose of my video, but I am going to continue, and I'm just going to use my Born This Way Snow Concealer. I'm just going to put it here in my inner corners out here as well. But the e.l.f. camo concealer, Maybelline, Age Rewind, um... Catrice's concealers, those are my absolute favorite and they're so affordable. All right, so I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this in. So next I'm gonna set my under eye with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is in the shade Light Pink. I love this stuff, it is so good. I honestly used to be obsessed with this stuff and use it like all the time. And I've just gotten a lot of products and I just forgot about it, but it is so good. So I'm just going to tap that underneath the light hand. I'm also going to tap that on my upper eyelid as well. I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light Fair. And I'm going to tap some of that as well on the bottom. A lot of people agree that the Light Fair loose powder is as good as high-end powders, and I totally agree. It's like once you use it, you can't stop using it. I'm going to take this pressed powder. This is the Maybelline Translucent Powder. And I am going to dust this all over my face using padding motions. So I'm just like pushing the powder into my skin. I'm going to take a little blending brush and I'm going to really focus that here underneath my eye. Making sure everything is nice and set. I'm then gonna take my puffer and the loose Maybelline Fit Me powder, and I'm just going to put that in the middle of my face, and I'm gonna create this line here. It's like baking, but I just want like 
to cut off where I don't want my bronzer to go. Florida and it's so hot and I'm sweating and I know everybody else who lives somewhere cold is probably like oh my god shut up but seriously it is 75 degrees in my house okay so setting this powder where I don't want the bronzer to go and down my nose I might put it on my forehead already. So like that, but I'm also gonna put some in here again. My skin can really handle powders because I will just end up setting this with a setting spray and my powders will melt together. But I think that this is like a lot of powder for some people. You have dry skin, it's like, whoa. But um, if you prime correctly with a moisturizer, and if you set it with a setting spray, um, I think it'll be okay. But it is a lot of powder. So next I'm gonna use my Maybelline City Bronzer. This is in the shade 100. I know 200 is the more popular shade, but look how much I've used up. It blends out like butter, it's amazing. This is my go-to winter bronzer. And I'm just gonna put this up here on my forehead. across my hairline and blend it into your hairline. That's how you get the most natural look. And I'm going to put this right above where I put that powder. Give me a little contour. This is definitely like a warm bronzer. This is actually what I use on my wife all the time, which is very fair. And she's always like, don't make me too dark. Blends out like a butter. So for blush, I'm gonna get one with the e.l.f. Um, always Cheeky Blush Primer. This stuff is also amazing. I've also hit pan on this. It is so corally stunning and so i'm gonna brush this all over my cheeks i love blush like blush is my favorite thing ever i love blush so much so my mother-in-law my father-in-law and my brother-in-law are coming over we're just having a little dinner some like lasagna and um my mother-in-law is so much fun to drink with. She loves wine. My wife does not like wine. So we're going to drink like Prosecco and I'm so excited. I got her electric wine aer aer aerator. I don't even know how you say it. Aerator? And I'm really excited to give it to her. It's this really cool like spout thing that wine just like pours out of. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to touch a little bit of Luminosa by Milani. This is like another corally shimmer blush. I love this stuff. Just like a little touch here. So pretty. I love mixing blushes together and this one's one of my favorite ones to like mix because it just has this like beautiful shimmer to it. And then for my affordable highlighter, I'm going to go with the Essence Be My Highlight Highlighter. This is a very popular, beautiful highlighter for a very good reason. It's stunning and it's a really good dupe for the Laura Mercier 01 highlighter. I have a whole video on dupes and that highlighter is on my dupes. I'm gonna touch a little up here with my brows as well. All right, and then I'm gonna dust everything away, all that powder. And I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour. 
So I don't use a drugstore bronzer for my nose contour. I'm gonna use a random palette, the Rusting Bitch Face by Pre Vulgar. I'm just gonna use the shade Sun AB. Shade Sun AB, and I'm just gonna give myself the smallest nose contour. Like that. I'm gonna dust it away so I can just blend in. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna take this bronzer and the Laura Mercier A11 brush. No, what am I saying? This bronzer by Maybelline, the bronzer, and I'm taking an Ariel A11 brush. And I'm gonna blend this into my crease, creating a nice warm crease area. I love using a bronzer for my crease. It's just like amazing and makes everything flow together so nicely. And then I have one of these e.l.f. bite size quads. These are amazing, blendable, buttery, beautiful eyeshadow quads. And I'm gonna come in with one of these. Actually, I'm just gonna mix them together. Just like a matte medium brown shade and I'm going to apply that to my outer V just because of creating this like you know soft brown smoky eye look at that just blended out like butter I love the shadow quads they're so good they only own two of them but I know the really colorful ones are pigmented and stunning as well. And I'm gonna brush away any fallout. Let's see, there's some fallout underneath my face here. Small highlighter and small highlighting brush, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. And highlight down my nose a little bit and I'm gonna take this and just rub it on my inner half of my eyelid just a tad there I love this essence highlighter it is so good if you're gonna try any of the affordable products that I've mentioned definitely try this essence highlighter it is so pretty so natural and stunning and this is the highlighter that I think it is a perfect dupe for. It's the Laura Mercier 01 highlighter. I love this one as well, but it's like the perfect dupe. It's actually a little bit more highlighting, highlighter-like than the Laura Mercier one. So for brows, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Brow Pencil and Morphe Brow Gel. Super affordable, great brow products. And I'm going to go in with the brow gel. I don't know how I ever did my brows before without brow gel because brow gel is just like absolutely life changing. It's such a good brow product. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to apply the LA Girl. This is in the shade. What is this shade? Super bright nude eyeliner to my waterline. Watching a lot of tutorials lately, people have been doing this, and I love the way it looks. And then before I do mascara, I'm going to set my face with the Milani setting spray. I love this stuff so much. I've gone through so many. I don't even have an idea of how many it would be. But I'm going to set my face with this. So I just wait until it's like 50% dry and then I'm going to pat it with a beauty blender. I forgot how amazing that um, e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder is because my under eye is stunning. It is like glowing and it looks so good. I am really shocked at that. I love all these products to death. Like the way my cheeks are looking with the lumen 
with those blushes together, my foundation, with that primer, all of it. I'm telling you, if you gotta try these products, they're so affordable and they're so good. I'm gonna do lips. So I'm obsessed with LA Girl Shockwave lip liners. I feel like people finally found out about these and it's kind of like, ugh, because I don't want any of my, you know, favorites to sell out, but it's the, I don't know how you say it, Coquette, C-O-Q-U-E-T-T-E-T, -T -E -T, whatever, Coquette, I don't know. But it's like a nude pinkish brown shade, so I'm going to line my lips with that. And I'm going to blend it with my finger. And I'm going to apply the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is viral, extremely good, beautiful, buttery lip gloss for a reason. And this is in the shade Stone. It's like a nude pink shade. And I'll apply that. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla. So that was my lips. Something, you know, simple. And curl my lashes. I guess it's just an eyelash curler from TJ Maxx. And I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So these are some jeans from Abercrombie. I, they are the 90 straight leg ultra high rise. I haven't even taken the tags off yet. And this is just a crop maroon sweater. I think it's from Forever 21. And my jewelry is from Amazon. And that is the outfit for a family get together. All right guys, that completes this look for affordable makeup products that I love. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video.